So let's start with menus in Android. In Android, if I'm talking about menus, menus are those component in Android which are common to each layout. These are common to UI. And apart from this, what you can do is like menus could be created just one time and they could be accessed in any of the activities. It's similar like menus in restaurant where the menu is created once which could be shared by different tables. So each of the table needs to order, ask for the menu and they'll get it. And once they get it, they can choose certain option. They can choose certain option and order their favorite food out there. So th same thing goes over here also in Android. So the next slide will be showing you how many types of menus we are having in Android. So these are actually three types of menus which we have in Android. Menus are a common user interface component, many types of applications. Let's move further. So these are three types. These are, these are three different types of menus, but actually we would be seeing three different types of menu and something which is known as alert dialog box in today's class. So let's move further. So we have option menu, context menu and pop-up menu. Now we shall be seeing each of these and we would be implementing these menu in Android studio. So first thing which we have is an options menu. The options menu is the primary collection of menu items for an activity. It is where you should place actions that have an overall impact that have a, that have an overall impact on the app, such as search, compose, email and settings. So guys, like options menu is somewhat, which is similar to this, like, which is shown over here. Now the whole entity, which you're seeing over here, this is known as menu and each of the things which are there inside this menu, these are items. Options menu could be started using the action bar. Like our application has an act action bar and let's say here is the name of the application, my app. Now, if you'll add an option menu to your application, what will happen? You'll see three dots over here. So I guess even WhatsApp is a WhatsApp is an example, which uses options menu. I'm just like, I've just drawn an action bar over here. So like our application have an action bar using on which like the name of our application is visible. So besides this application name, we are having three dots. If you have implemented options menu in your application, you will be seeing these three dots. When you will be clicking on these three dots, some pop-up menu, like some menu will uh, some uh, menu will appear, and each of the items which are there in this menu, like this is the complete menu, and each of them, like each of the options which the menu offers, is known as item or options. So that is how menus work in Android. It is always aligned to the top right part of the screen. So some like they have given certain examples such as search, compose, email, and settings. So usually what they are telling is it is where you should place actions that have an overall impact on the app. For example, let's say if you want to include certain like, like uh, here they have given example as browser. So if you're having a browser, so all the options which will be having an overall impact on the applications feature, like the application is offering certain features and all those features could be included over here. Let's move further. Then we have something which is known as context menu. A context menu is a floating menu that appears when the user performs a long click on an element. It provides actions that affect the selected content or context frame. Apart from this, like you must have seen edit text. There is certain text over written over there. When you select the text, you get a context menu over there, which says copy, paste, select all, right? So that is also an example of context menu. Now there's a difference between context menu and, uh, and the options menu. The difference is options menu always requires certain apply, certain activity, right? If you're having certain activity, then obviously you can include options menu. But in case of context menu, context menu won't be, uh, won't like, uh, won't over overshadow themselves on certain app activity. What they will do, they will require something known as view. So when you create a context menu, there will be a function which we shall be studying. So we need to pass the name of view on which you want the context menu should be applied. For example, let's say if you have created a button and if you want, if the user clicks, if user long presses this button, then the context menu should appear. Then what happens? You need to tell the context menu using a function that please accept this view. Like for example, my button ID was BTN. So I'll just pass this BTN in that function. So what will happen? It will understand the Android system will understand that on this button, I have to implement context menu. Then we have something which is known as pop-up menu. A pop-up menu displays a list of items in a vertical list that is anchored to the view that invoked the menu. That invoked the menu. It's good for providing an overflow of action that relate to specific content or to provide options for a second part of command. Actions in a pop-up menu should not directly affect the corresponding content. That's what contextual actions are for. 
rather the pop up is for extended actions that relate to regions or content in your activity like example of pop up menu could be let's say you must have seen this thing in like many of the applications like there is a feature you can add your number over here let's say you are adding any number over here and then this is the place where like country codes are written so the moment i click on this country code what happens something pop ups on the screen and then i'm having different country names like i'm having different country names like india plus 91 and so on this is an example of pop up menu now what they are telling is pop up menu if if user is selecting certain thing then what should happen the best ux would be close the pop up menu and implement the changes but never change something for example if you are like if your pop up is open and you are clicking something and there some changes are happening in background that should not be done if you want something to happen in the background then use context menu for that these were three types of menu which are there in android now what we shall be doing we shall be implementing uh, all these three types of menu in our application but before that you need to understand certain functions which would be common in the implementation of these three menu so let's let's go through the methods which would be com which would be used so first thing how to create a menu in android for all menu types mentioned above android provides a standard xml format to define menu items instead of building a menu in your activities code you should define a menu and all its item in an xml menu resource you can then inflate the menu resource that is load the xml file as a menu object in your activity now what we shall be doing will be creating a menu.xml file first first we shall be creating a menu.xml file the very first step second step will be will be use some in, will be using some inflator now in case of menu we have something which is known as menu inflator so there is a class which is known as menu inflator and we shall be using that now what an inflator does inflator brings the xml file into your java code so the final thing will be bringing implementing this inflator like bringing this menu file into a java code and here we shall be, we shall be handling the actions of on click for example the first thing which we shall be doing is let's see let's see like if i want to make an options menu that is when the user will click on these three dots some menu should appear on this menu there should be an option new and old these are the two options then what i'll do the first thing is i'll create a menu.xml file i'll write all these things over there i'll just create the structure of this menu in my menu.xml file after that i'll go to my java file i'll go to my java file this this java file would be the activity where you want to show the menu inside this java file i'll in use something which is known as inflator menu inflator what menu inflator will do it will bring this xml code into my this xml file into my java code after that the last step is let's say if user clicks on this new then some toast should appear if user clicks on this old then another toast should appear so all these things all such events of handling the click which are done by user would be handled inside the java activity so after this now there is something like now just like just now i mentioned something which is known as menu inflator class of menu which you design in xml to the java file just look at it menu inflator just will be creating an object menu inflator and there's a function which is known as get menu inflator this is the default function which will bring the menu inflator for any activity now this gives a menu inflator object that will be used to inflate that is convert our xml file into java object the menu underscore file dot x now this would be the file which will create in xml and after that using this menu inflator you will bring this xml file to your java code but the first step will just call the menu inflator that is it will just call the person who will do the task but right now he has not brought the xml file to java code for bringing that we shall be using something known as inflator that is the object of inflator menu inflator class and then there is a function inflate in this function you need to pass two parameters the first parameter says that the first parameter is the structure of the menu that is the xml file that you need to pass the second parameter is an object of menu class so we'll see this so it is just an object of menu class which needs to be passed into the into this guys that's it this is all about creating menu in android so let's move to the implementation part of it i'll just open my android studio what we shall be doing is we'll create an option menu so here is my name of app name of my application 
and besides it three dots will be there when i click on this an option menu should appear which will be having two fields first field says that new and this field says that old when i click on new a toast should appear which will say new if i click on old a toast should appear which will say old this will be the first step of our options menu after this step what we shall be doing is let's let's complete this one first okay so the first thing the first thing which we shall be doing is creating the menu.xml file for doing that you need you will have to create a different directory so what i'll do i'll go to resource right click new and over here you are having something which is known as android resource directory click on this now it is asking what type of directory you want so guys these are resource directories like drawable layout map map so if i want to create some menu i need to make all the menu in a different directory which is known as menu so i'll select menu from here first thing i did is i wrote direct directory name as menu resource type so just look these are different types of resource which android offers me so i'll say se i'll select menu from here that's it otherwise you don't have to do anything else apart from this i have chosen menu then let's click okay so now you can see that in the left pane which is showing me the project structure it is show in like a, a new directory that is known as menu directory is created now now what i shall be doing is i'll be adding the xml file to it so the way we used to add a layout file the same in the same way we'll add a xml file to the menu folder menu directory what i'll do right click new and just see over there is something which is known as menu resource file choose this now you have to give some name to you a name to your menu file so i'll write options menu dot xml so look guys it has created a menu for me just look at it so right now my menu is empty now what i'll do i'll click on text now if i want to add items so just get inside this and there is something which is known as item now this item is having plenty of field so we shall be starting with id first so let's give some id to it so let's write as first item the next thing it says uh, it says that you have to give some title to it so i'll just type title over here the title would be the name which would be appearing as an option to you so since i want new to be my title so i'm writing new over here after that it also provides me certain actions such as show as action android icon so i can also assign i can also put icons with my options right so for this moment i won't be doing that i'll just go with a simple item so by after completing this the first item has been added just look at it so now three dots are appearing and this like this is how my first, this is how my option would be appearing in android menu now similarly we'll add other options also so just copy this let's add another option but you have to change the id so i'll just write second item over here now title would be this time this time i'm writing title as old so that's it so i've got a i've got an option menu which is created which is having two options new and old believe me guys this is done the layout of menu has is all completed so our first step is done like we have created the menu so this is my on create function of my main activity this is my on create function so you don't have to go inside this on create function you shall be writing everything outside it so i'll be overriding a method the name of this method is on create options menu so if you want since we are creating an options menu so we shall be we shall be overriding a method that is on create options menu just select this it has given me a it has already provided me a basic structure of it now what shall what i shall be doing inside this is i'll write the first thing which i shall be doing is i'll create an object of menu inflator so menu inflator menu inflator equals to get menu inflator now i've got the person who will be bringing this layout this layout to my main activity so after this what i shall be doing is like i first the first thing was i created the person menu inflator now 
using this i'll call the function known as inflate the first thing which needs to be passed is the xml xml id the layout id of this menu options menu so that is nothing but r dot menu dot options menu because that is the like options menu is the name of the menu file which we just created right just which, which we just created in the xml after that the second parameter the second parameter says that pass the object of menu you don't have to worry about it look this is already so what this is already having an object of menu so just pass this over here that's it your menu is all created now so that was all about creating menus in android what i will doing i'll be doing over here is just return true okay let's launch it Okay, guys. Can you all see the menu now? So I'll just click on this, and I'll be able to see these options, new and old. But when I click on them, nothing will happen. Just look at it. I'm clicking on them, and nothing is happening. Because right now we have just created the options menu inside our activity, but we have not taken, we have not provided any listeners to it. So in order to do that, there is another method which we shall be overriding. That method is. on options item selected the men, the name of the method is on options item selected that that's it i have created the method now what will happen guys whenever let's say you are having new and old whenever you will be clicking on this new it will make a call to on options item selected and inside this it will pass the id of new so the id of new was r dot id dot first item remember remember guys we just we just allotted them ids over here look at it like the first id of first item that is a new item is first item and the second one old item that is the old options id is second item so what i did i just created a function known as on options item selected and inside this function what it will do whenever you will click on certain option android system will fetch the id of that option and it would submit that uh, and it would submit that option to this menu item so what will happen this option will come up over here so now what we have to do is we'll create a switch case over here so inside this what i'll do i'll write a switch statement item dot get item id case r dot id dot first item that's it guys so what i did over here now look whatever item user would be clicking upon let's say he clicked on new that means new will come up or come up over here now what i did i used a declared a switch case statement over here and inside this i'm taking i'm generating the item id of it so what it will do it will whatever item which has come up come over here it will extract the item id of it so since i've clicked on new so what will happen new dot get item id will be called so i'll get an item id which is r dot id dot first item so that's what that's the reason i made a case for r dot id dot first item similarly for second item if you are having 100 items over here so you have to create 100 cases over here now what i wanted to do if the person is selecting the first item then i want to print a toast so toast dot make text context would be this so what i did the next step was like i just created toast 
so that if the person is clicking on the new option then the first it will go into the first case that is r dot id dot first item and it will just execute toast dot make text that's it let's let's run the application got the point guys we shall be moving a step further and we shall be making certain changes to this option menu what i want like you must have seen in some in some application like uh, they provide a share button over here right rather than showing this like three dots they straight away provide a share button so what i i'll do a better approach is if you're having let's say if you're having just like in our case we are having two options right but there might be a case when you are having just a single option so then it's not a better way to put it in a in form of options menu what you can do is if you are having just a single option let's say if you were having only new entry then what you will do you will just create a new button over here so in order to do that there is the steps are as follows just go to text since i want only one so i'll delete the all Deleted. I have to remove it from this part also. Okay. Now I'm having only the first item. Now inside the first item, there is something which is known as show as action. So select this. Now there are three. There are couple of options over here. Always with text, if room, collapse, action, view, never. so i'll go with always let's run it and let's see the change is it clear now it is showing me in form of a button now what if i don't want to show any text i want to show an icon over here so i'll just delete the title and there is another field over here which says that icon so i'll select icon and let's take any file so i'm just taking the I see launcher Android the round one that is the icon that is the current icon of my application. Let's run it. Is it clear? Now I got the icon. Now I've got the icon in place of the name. Is this clear, guys? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Now there are couple of options over here which says that always and all. So let's discover them. So there is something which is always. Just wait a minute. always with text if room if you are selecting with text then text will also be shown and the icon will be shown if room if room means that let's say for example you open certain application which was having a big title or which was having other options or other items also so let's say like for example you are having just consider the same application let's say you are having some more items over here but if i put all the items together then it will look quite crowdy over there right but if i'm having a tablet then the same thing will look more sophisticated over there right so what i did i for some for some items which are not compulsory i set i actually did show as action so inside the show as action i kept if room now what does this mean that if there is a place for it if there is more place for it then show them if there is no place then no problem then what you shall do just put them in three dots the user can see them in this way got it clear that's it. so that was all about options menu guys so we have completed options menu so i hope you all can create your own option menu now